In this video, I want to show you how to change the CPU fan and the heatsink assembly kit of your desktop PC. This is a Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop PC, but the instructions I'm going to show you also apply to other PCs. So let's start. First, we need to open the desktop. The Dell Inspiron has two screws here. You should remove them on the back. And this is done very fast. Once you remove the screws, just slide the top cover open and just remove it like this. So this is here the kit we need to remove. So this is the CPU fan shroud. It has three latches that you need to pry like this and then just remove it. So this is a new one. I'm going to show you here. These are the latches here. So this is one latch, two, and this is the third one. So simply I'm going to pry them very gently. And this is two, and this is removed. And you see now it exposes the CPU fan and the heatsink assembly kit. And this is the four pin connector we need to remove also. So this is sometimes, it is sometimes hard to remove. Just use a pair of pliers, but gently, do not squeeze on them like this, otherwise you're gonna break them. Gently hold them and pull towards you. And it should be removed very easily. And this is it removed. And you see here we have four screws. We need to remove them. So using a Phillips head screwdriver, this is like a medium size. Remove them diagonally. So this is the first one. And remove the one opposite to it. And remove this one now. And you see it popped up. And simply remove the last one. And it should be removed. There's still this one here. So this is it removed. And as you notice here, this is the thermal paste. And the new one that Dell sent me also has thermal paste, of course. It is protected, so you don't need extra thermal paste. I'm going to keep it protected now. And you see the thermal paste here. It's better to clean it. So with any tissue, clean it. It's better to remove everything. So here it is completely clean now. At this stage here, if your heatsink assembly kit doesn't have pre-applied thermal paste, you need to put a drop of thermal paste on top of the CPU exactly at the center. Make it a medium drop so that it can conduct heat efficiently. And now simply, this is the new assembly kit. So this is the pins. And it's important, according to Dell's instructions, that this cable here faces the front of the PC like this. So first, I'm going to remove the protection and just place it gently like this. Make sure to align the screws here with the opening. So here are the four screws al aligned and simply tighten them just a little bit this one and then a little bit more the one opposite to it and then the other one and so on. Do not over tighten them. So did it go in this one? Yeah, it went in. So this is tightened. As soon as the screwdriver doesn't turn anymore, just stop. So this one and this one are already tightened. This one. And this is the last one. And now it is installed. And now you need to install the pins here. This is the connector. And you see it has a key here. So the key goes to the outside like this. And you simply align it and 
push it in gently and here it is installed and now this is the fan shroud and you see there is an inscription here saying rear facing so this one should face the rear of the desktop like this so simply like this and then it should click into place just be patient and here it is installed and everything is tight so now I'm gonna test the PC before closing it to make sure that everything is working so this is the power that I previously removed of course I'm gonna hook it and test the PC just for a minute and then assemble it and connect it so as you notice that the fan turned and everything is working correctly and that was all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you think this video might help others please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up until next time thank you all for watching